I am pleased to announce that we are gonna be building a logging truck for Tolkal here. It's cool, it's gonna be a tri-drive quad wagon, which is what you see in the truck behind me. It's what I've been hauling myself for like last five, six years that I was hauling logs. By far one of the better setups you can go with, and I'm excited to actually be able to build one. <laughs> Tokel is an industry leader in world-class forest products. And what makes it so special that we're building the truck for Tokel is our family. Like my family has a lot of background in Tokel. My dad worked for 15, 20 years for Tokel. When I first started hauling logs, Tokel was the mill that I used to haul logs into. So to be able to build the truck for a company that was started right here in BC in 1955, the Thorlickson started Tolkal out in Lavington Planers in Vernon, just a few hours away from us. It's just, it's a really cool experience that this is where we get to build our first logging truck for. It's very fitting. I cannot wait to build this truck. I also used to work for Toko. Not only did I work for Toko, but I was one of the first trucks for this company here, Buff Lumber. Awesome company to work for. And as first truck, I had to get here before the mill opened. So every morning I was sleeping right there in the first truck spot at about three o'clock in the morning, waiting for the mill to open. Holland and British Columbia, there's so many different tree sorts and different sizes. And depending on which tree you're cutting or which pile you're at, depending on which mill you're going home to the end of the day. So we might be working out in the Okanagan and I'd, I'd have to get a tree sort that would put me in my hometown at the end of the day. Toko has places all over the place. They're in, they're in Hefley Creek here. They have a, uh, they're in Armstrong, they're in Lavington. I, I lived in Enderby, so I'd get home through the Armstrong mill. And so when our lumber industry gets hit and the mill is closed down, it affects people's, not only their jobs, but where they can live, how they get home. I couldn't live in Enderby when the Armstrong mill shut down because I'd end up in Canloops at the end of the day every day. And then I'd be over hour and I wouldn't make it home. So we really in British Columbia depend on the logging industry for our for our finances, for our livelihood, for our families, for, for everything. Lumber and logging is such an important part to British Columbians' lifestyle. Or livelihood, li lives, work, everything. So what you see is you pack the weight on the truck itself and then your trailer comes behind you. When you're empty, you lift that trailer up, back under it, set your empty trailer down onto the trucks. We do this because of the hills we have to deal with around British Columbia. It's why hybrid makes the most sense in this application. Why I'm so excited is that you're going uphill empty and you're coming downhill loaded. You're about 140, 150,000 pounds coming down the mountain recharging, but you also need to get up the mountain. So being able to lift your trailer up, back under the trailer, set the trailer down is by far the most efficient. Without doing this, you wouldn't have the traction weight on your drive axles to be able to climb up and into the mountains like you need to. The other way is too, is that when you're up in the mountain, there's not always a great spot to be able to turn around with your truck. It's a lot of tight backups, small landings. So you gotta be able to spin around with the trailer. So being able to pack your empty trailer is much more efficient when you're in the bush. Yeah, I'm uh, Jerry Mooney. I'm a manager with Toco. I uh, manage our timber service business in Quinell, and we're really excited to be the uh, the uh, contractor that's going to uh, put this vehicle into operation. Uh, Toco's really excited about investing in this project. Uh, we see these real benefits for the uh, forest industry in, in British Columbia and Western Canada. Really good relationship with uh, the Edison Group, and uh, thanks a lot for uh, for joining in. <laughs> hey, thanks for uh, believing in us, and I'm excited to launch this project. This is exciting. I thought the advantages for the electric were perfect for the forestry industry here, especially BC. We're in the mountains. You're going uphill empty. You're coming downhill loaded to recapture all of that. I've spent uh, 15 years of my life as a logger, truck driver, and this is the industry I grew up in. This is what I knew, and we're like, well, we haven't sold any logging trucks yet, uh, but no, we've been working with Tolkal now. We're building a project together and our final uh, truck, this fills the 10th position 
is going to be a logging truck and I could not be happier to build a truck for the industry I grew up in. Right now I'm with Shane Thorlickson and uh, Shane, well, you got like 30 years experience, 40 years experience driving truck and... Yeah, well, I've been working for Tolco Industries for my whole natural life pretty well. My grandfather started it in 1955 and then my uh, grand uncle and my dad and his brothers all came back to the mill and uh, worked at Lavington and then uh, became Tolco Industries and it's still operating as a family business to this day. So my uh, grandfather and my dad were in their office and uh, they stroked off every second letter out of our last name is how they came up with Tolco. And this next year will be 40 years of being in business whole logs low bedded and uh, it was kind of neat to have the opportunity to come in with uh, the Edison group here to work on uh, developing a log truck for our industry. This is exciting is that um, being here with Shane is he's going to be bringing a lot of that knowledge in here. He's going to be coming over to our shop having a look at our build giving us feedback on what he likes on a logging truck what he doesn't like and it's so valuable to have these people with experience like Shane coming in to helping us out. Okay, I'm Jeremy, I'm the Southern BC sales rep with Peerless and we are also very excited to be part of this TOCO project with Edison Motors. Peerless has been in the forestry industry for 80 years. This year is actually our 80th year. We've been in Penticton, BC for 50 years and we've been pioneers in the forest industry ever since we've been here, so. And now. Uh, what part of the project are you doing here? Uh, we're gonna take care of the quad axle wagon, pictured there, and the cab guard. Yeah, and this is what's really cool is that in this kind of partnership, we're gonna be working with it, uh, with their engineering team and that here, is that we gotta place the trailer ride, the headache rack, your carrier bars, your false bunks, all the oh, bunks, no. all of this stuff need to go on a frame. And normally when you guys get a truck frame in from Kenworth or Western Star or anything, there's air tanks in the way, there's other things exactly. you gotta relocate. We're not gonna bother with that. I don't <clears throat> want you guys to have to relocate everything, put in all that extra work. So yeah. we're gonna work right from before we even start it. And you guys are gonna tell us, this is what we need. This is where we need to put it. Or we'll tell you, hey, I need a battery here. I need yeah. a fuel tank here. How do we make that work together? So when the truck shows up to Peerless's shop, this is ready, hopefully, Just to bolt easy everything to mount on. everything right up. Holes are drilled, we're ready to go. That'll be a game changer that way. It'll make it a hell of a lot easier because a lot of the time when, yeah, like you said, the trucks show up from other manufacturers, our guys in our TRK shop are removing fuel tanks. They're taking wheels and tires off of trucks and drilling holes in frames. Lots of time they're cutting frames down, adding tail frames in. It's a lot of work for the guys, so... To do it right from ground zero with you guys is gonna make it a lot easier for our guys. Yeah, I'm hoping when we deliver this truck to you that you don't have to cut a single piece of the frame. You don't have to drill a single bolt. It all, just drill a single hole, just bolts together. It's, uh, should work a lot better. Plug and play. Plug and play, yeah. Make it a lot easier. Um, how we sign this deal is that now they're putting down a deposit on the truck. They put down the deposit, we get started with the engineering, which means we start with Peerless, we start with our engineers, we start laying out the frame rail, where does the cross members go, where the batteries go, where does the motor, what size batteries do we need? We have to lay everything out, how is it gonna pack the truck, where does the trailer rest, what's our total length? And things like air breathers, fenders design, all the way down to drop visors and lights. We're gonna put all that together and we're gonna go to Tokel and say, what do you think? They're gonna give us some feedback. What do they like? Maybe they want more lights. Maybe they want different air breathers, air cleaners, different fenders. Maybe they want a different wheelbase. Maybe they wanna lengthen it. Maybe they think they, they can shorten it a little bit. It's gonna be what's gonna work for them. What do they want for interior options? That's what we work together. Once we got all that together, they give it their stamp of approval. Then we order the frame rails, the suspension. That takes anywhere from three to four months to start showing up. So we're estimating that we're gonna have the engineering done by January, because now we're getting into Christmas here in a week. So then we finish that at the end of January. Four months takes us February, March, April, May. We're gonna start seeing parts arrive. Some of the parts have a longer lead time, upwards of six to eight months. Now the parts are gonna be showing up May, June, July, August which means that we'll be building this truck in August, September, October, and hopefully this time next year, we have a finished truck. Okay, why I think hybrid, and especially this diesel electric is so important, is that these trucks do 14 to 15 hours a day, every single day. Fully electric is never going to meet the occupational demands of the logging industry. But I think it's so important that we tackle some of these issues in the logging industry. 
And not only is our product about being sustainable, it's about being more efficient by being able to make use of the regenerative braking coming downhill loaded, we're able to reduce fuel consumption, which is gonna reduce operator cost. Guys are going farther and farther out to get those logs. The fuel price is going higher and higher. And when you see that, the cost of bringing in the wood into the mill is a major cost factor of these operations. And we're seeing sawmills close over BC. And as Theron said earlier, that really affects people's livelihood, their lifestyle, their living. We need to be able to reduce these fuel costs. We need to be able to make log hauling more efficient and being loggers ourselves, it's why we feel so passionate. This is why we started Edison Motors, was to make a real difference in operations like these log truck operations. So we're gonna make a kick-ass diesel electric hybrid truck for Tokel that's hopefully gonna blow away everything else in the market. And we're gonna be able to start fixing this industry, bringing those costs down and bringing the amount of tons you can bring into the mill up.